Hey Aries, it's I am 303 High Priestess. This is your love reading for September 2021. Thank all of you guys for coming back to watch your reading. Let's jump in with each other. We're going to take a look at um, love for you here, okay? See what is going on. We're also going to get some uh, cards out for um, no contact. Like if you have no contact with this person right now, okay? We're going to find out what their feelings are. How, are you, how is this person thinking about you, feeling about you here in September? Okay, what's on their minds? Okay. They are saying, I wish I could share my good news with you. And they're saying you came closer than anyone. Really? Okay. You have no contact with this person. In the cards here for Aries, please. They have no contact. What messages here for them? I'm trying to find out what this good news is that they want to share with you. Um, it still feels like they're at a far though. Okay. Um, but why are they snooping on you? Okay. <laughs> why are they watching you here, Aries? If they're fear okay um they have fear coming in here i didn't want to get too attached to you i fear commitment if you have no contact this is what this person is thinking right now okay here in september they're saying differences we are just too different uh to make us work i didn't want to hurt your feelings Bye bye. Let's see here. <clears throat> I'm just talking, y'all. Don't pay no attention to me, okay? So this person fears commitment. I feel like you're you're uh <laughs> when something good happens in this person's life, uh it feels like they think of you. You're the first person that pops up in their mind and they want to get on the phone or come scoop you up and celebrate you're the person here that they think about but they fear commitment and possibly fear not being able to fulfill your needs or meet your expectations here aries but they think about you okay when something good happens in their life and they have narcissism you allowed me to get away with so much that i felt i didn't do anything wrong you never said anything you're probably um i feel here aries you were probably just letting this person be who they truly were so that you could make a decision on the connection yourself or really see where they would rather be you probably did not chase this individual here okay? they still have love for you though <laughs> that's what i'm saying with this ace of cups um page of cups excuse me that's under the deck so let's stop there let's see where their energy is right now what's going on with this person here what's going on with aries person all right seven of pentacles they have the will of fortune some good things are happening in their life. Possibly work. Um, promotions here. Have the high priestess that's coming in. And they have the temperance card that's coming in here. For some reason, I'm feeling like um, this person may have uh, a child on the way as well. Okay, the high priestess can show up when fertility is at, at play. Okay, someone is... Um, pregnant here um and the temperance card is making me feel like there's a new life coming here okay so let's see here what is going on <clears throat> have the strength card the empress card 
and the five of swords. This person is afraid to tell you about someone else that they have connected with here, Aries. It feels like they have another lover in their life here, okay? Um, with the Empress card that's coming in here. Um, they feel like with the five of swords that they betrayed betrayed you, like they could not give you the attention that you needed. Um, but they think about you all the time. But they have someone else here. That's what I'm feeling. I feel like this person wants to make peace with you, though. Uh, like they still want to be friends. They they just want to be friends with you uh, because they they're saying that they feared commitment. Whoever this is that you disconnected from, from the people that have no contact uh, with their person here. You may have no contact because they have someone else in their life here, okay? That's what I'm seeing with the Empress card and the fear. They fear how you will respond uh, to this good news. Um, it's great news to them. They have this new relationship, may have a child on the way. Things are moving forward. There's a lot of fortune uh, and good luck moving into their life here with the Wheel of Fortune energy that's coming in. But they're hush-hush about it. I feel like they're hush hush about it because you're still on their mind here, okay? And they feel like you would really be upset or jealous in some type of way if they shared this information with you here. Let's see where your energy is. And the cards here for Aries. Okay, Aries, you have the Seven of Cups. Ooh. You have the chariot, you have the ten of swords, and you have the eight of cups. You're done. I feel like you're done. You've let it go, okay? You feel like this person um, possibly, yeah, was taking advantage of you, taking advantage of your niceness, your kindness, okay, your energy, and I feel like you walked away from this connection because you did not feel valued. You did not feel like your, uh, you, your feelings were being reciprocated here, okay? And like this person was possibly leading you on and filling your head with a bunch of nonsense or broken promises. Promises you possibly intuitively knew that they could not uphold and you decided to just move forward with the Eight of Cups and the Chariot card. Uh, that's showing up here okay I still feel I feel like there is still energy here um like you're pissed at this person I feel like you're pissed at them you feel like they really um just shitted on you I'm just gonna be real with you guys like they shitted on you with the ten of swords it's a lot of pain it's a lot of um I won't say anger but if I know you Aries you are pissed okay um Seeing that I got two Aries in my house. So I know what Aries is capable of capable of here, okay? And I feel like you're just done with this person. Like, you're going to stab my stab me in the back like this. You're going to take advantage of my love, of my attention that I was trying to give to you. Um, I'm gone. At this moment, I feel like if they did try to come back towards you, to speak to you, share any good news with you, you'd be like, please, you probably would not answer the call would not pick up a, a telephone call you would not open a, a message here and i feel like that's where your energy is right now with this individual here it feels like you um you're saying you could do bad by yourself here okay that's what i feel like you guys are saying let's go into this what message do you have here for aries Okay, Aries, you have animal kingdom. Animals of all types are extraordinary creatures and miraculous gifts to us. They've been our spiritual companions since the dawn of time. At this moment, they have lessons to share with you that will open up your heart and your soul. For some reason, when I saw that page of cups, they just gave me a picture of it. You guys, here in September, some of you guys may be meeting someone that has an animal or they are a veterinarian or they um, are in nature a lot. Um, yeah, I feel like you guys are meeting someone new with that page of cups that we saw 
under the deck here okay that's the message that they are giving me that i'm channeling in here okay like you're going to meet a new love soon they're wanting you to breathe here they're saying take a deep breath here aries this person may come back towards you for a conversation to offer an apology or explain themselves like they weren't ready for you then and they met someone else and they've started a new life but i feel like you guys don't need the explain you may not need the explanation you're just you're really wanting to let something go here aries that's what i'm saying um and you just want to keep moving forward you don't want to deal with um a bunch of nonsense here okay your card is saying the breath is the vital bridge between your body and soul it's a connection between the inside and outside, connecting you to the universe, spirit, and the divine source. The breath permeates your entire being uh, with prana, which is the same life-giving force that nourishes everything in the universe here. So keep doing what you're doing. Move towards your happiness here. Uh, release yourself from... Uh, a relationship that did hurt you here release this energy release this vibration so that you are open here um, to receive all of the blessings that are meant for you okay in whatever form whether that is financially emotionally spiritually here okay some of you guys may be dreaming about this person you're dreaming about this person because they're thinking about you here okay so if this person uh pops up in your dreams they are thinking about you here okay all right aries that is your reading thank you guys so much for coming back to watch your reading i do appreciate it make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell and i'll see you guys in the next reading i love you bye